Hello there, Al Perhax, author, creator, visionary behind the Mind Force system, as well as Mind Force hypnosis, manipulation, several other manuals and books that I've written. And I want to share with you a technique that I think you're going to get a lot of great information out. In fact, I'm going to hypnotize you right now on camera. I know you might find that hard to believe, but I'm going to show you exactly how hypnosis works. And I'm actually taking it directly out of my Mind Force hypnosis closed door manual. I mean this has a lot of great information in it. It, it actually contains three volumes of manuals. Hetero hypnosis, uh, closed door self hypnosis, and then 12 devices that almost instantly hypnotize. Really one of the best values you're ever going to see and I, you can look far and wide. This, this has a lot of great information. So let's get started. <clears throat> now, what I'm going to do is I want to prove to you <coughs> how powerful your mind is and how you can use it. So I want you to relax. And I want you to focus on every word that I say to you. You don't have to worry. This is going to be a very friendly session. It will cause you no harm. In fact, I'll cause you to feel really good. But this experiment will allow you to see how your mind is so powerful and that you are a powerful person indeed. So I want you to just think in your head. Again, keep your eyes open because I'm going to show you some things. But as you keep your eyes open, I want you to think of the number three and see it. And then I want you to think of the number two and see it. And then I want you to think of the number one and see it. Even though your eyes are open, you have a wonderful imagination. Just like when you daydream, you can see extremely well. And what I want you to do next is I want you to take your hand and I want you to make sure that you can see the back of your hand. And I want you to spread your fingers out. Spread your fingers out as wide as you can. Feel that expression. Feel the fingers going as wide as you can possibly get them. Get them as wide as you can get them almost to the point where you can't stretch them anymore. Now what I want you to do is I want you to visualize that there is a very thick rubber band over your fingers going from your thumb to your pinky. I want you to visualize that rubber band on your fingers and that the rubber band is strong and that the rubber band is starting to close your fingers. I want you to visualize the rubber band. I want you to visualize that rubber band starting to close your fingers. In fact, close your eyes now and think about it. The more you think about that rubber band closing your fingers, the more it will happen. Even though your fingers are spread apart, they're going to start to go because you're visualizing that rubber band getting tighter and tighter and tighter. Go ahead, visualize it. Visualize the rubber band. Close your eyes if you haven't already and visualize that rubber band just squeezing gently your fingers together. Feel it, but visualize it. Visualize the fingers going together slowly but surely as you visualize that rubber band as it gets more taut it starts to get your fingers closing more and more and the more you think about it the more they go together you keep thinking about that rubber band bringing your fingers together until your fingers are touching one another because of the rubber band pulling them together. Now as your fingers are pulled together, I want you to feel it as if that rubber band is totally got those fingers totally wrapped. And then what I want you to do in your wonderful imagination, your wonderful mind, is I want you to take the rubber band off and then relax your fingers and bring them back to normal. And as you do that, 
Open your eyes. You're wide awake. You feel great. But you have noticed that this experiment worked. Now, we're out of the trance. That was pretty quick. But here's why I'm giving this information to you. is So you can practice this little test. I do it on myself uh, oftentimes. I do it on others uh, like I just did for you. And sometimes it might take longer for you to get it to work. Sometimes it happens that much quicker. I mean, I closed my eyes for a few seconds there and started visualizing the rubber band. And just like it was probably working for you, it was working for me. No matter how hard I tried to hold out my hands, my, my fingers, they started to close because the visualization inside the mind was working the hand. Now, if, you, if your hand wasn't closing, it's because you were thinking of the opposite. You were thinking of keeping your hands, you know, see, there's a physical sensation of keeping the hands like this, right? And then there's the mental. By using the mental imagination of that rubber band closing your fingers together like this, it automatically causes your imagination to make it happen. It causes the physical to happen. Now again, for many of you, you're probably really surprised how well that worked. Because the first time I did that, years and years ago, I was like, wow, this is pretty cool. And actually somebody did it one-on-one -on -one with me. And it was pretty remarkable to see something like that happen. Now, that's just one of the many techniques that are taught in this manual that you can use for yourself or for others. But they're great tests. Even if you're at a party or a social gathering, it's a great test. Now, if you don't, don't get it to work right away, a couple things you can do. You can actually take a rubber band and take your hand and put the rubber band on your hand and visualize. You feel that physically. And as you imagine that rubber band getting more of a pulling action on your hand, you'll feel it. It's a direct relation to your imagination and to your mind power. And what this little test will show you is the power of your mind and also the power of your suggestion that you can covertly persuade and hypnotically influence people on a dynamic basis. And when you get my hypnosis manuals, my manipulation manual, you're going to see how to fill all these gaps in how to get it to work. My Hypnotic Influence Boot Camp obviously covers a lot of those details as well. But I think if you take this exercise and utilize it, you're going to get awesome results with it. You can, again, once you get really good at doing the commands and the instructions and the inductions, you can do this anytime you want with anyone and you could actually do your own experience. In, in fact, in this manual, we've probably got probably 20 different little tests, little experiments like that, little techniques that you can do that, that really showcase your hypnotic influence skills. So if you want to become a hypnotic influence specialist, this is the, uh, the fastest way to do it. Anyway, I've enjoyed sharing this information in this video with you. Any comments, just leave them uh, on the blog or on this page, wherever you're seeing this video. And uh, thanks for watching, and have a fantastic day. So long.